Hi right, guys. All right, it is a cool, cloudy spring day in hot Atlanta, GA, my old hometown. This is literally the old family farm. Literally, <laughs> I should be a borderline billionaire right now if I had inherited this, but it is a uh, cool, cloudy Saturday morning, I think it's April 27th, 2024, somewhere around there, and uh, so the great road trip continues, and let me pull out a hot land to Georgia, heading to Chickamauga, Georgia, pretty much Chattanooga, Tennessee, so uh, we have about two hours hoping that global industrial civilization uh, <laughs> we'll hold on for two more hours so I want to do a a bug on the windshield report so I pulled out of Denellen Florida three days ago I am not tracking the miles I don't know how many miles I've put up with all the side trips and shit let's say 500 miles in the last week of April I have not had one bug that I am aware of splatter on this windshield. Zero bugs in late April. Uh, yep, and you wonder why global industrial is civilization and the planet is fucked, but uh, <clears throat> other than that report, uh, civilization seems to be holding together and and and, and you know guys I, I i mean all joking aside it, it's just uh unbelievable uh that that th this whole thing is sticking together but you know i i am the biggest fan of global industrial civilization i you know doomers we are the most grateful people for uh for global industrial civilization uh, it, it, there's without global industrial civilization I, I i don't know i might still be working the the uh the, the old family farm right here i might be pulling a a mule and a plow through my 400 acre hildebrand farm in Sandy Springs, Georgia, I could be behind a plow right now instead of in this nice, comfortable, this nice, comfortable truck. Uh, all right, so I am getting on. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember when uh, up here was, I mean, it was forest. We would come up here my brother would somewhere up here there was this uh, little pond or big pond small lake and we would come up here snake hunting uh, we'd drive all the way up here and uh, out to the wilderness here and uh, go hunting for water snakes see taught me how to to do that and uh, this is so that was 55 years ago I'm, I'm actually quite impressed to see how many trees are still left uh, up here good God I mean, uh, so it's 10.30 on a Saturday morning. So, uh, assumedly, this is, you know, there is no rush hour. Or th this, this is just uh, what, what it looks like at 10.30 on a gloomy Saturday morning in one mega city in this country and on this planet. Uh... Where do we cross the Chattahoochee River? Is this the river bridge? I want to see. Uh, last time I was 
the the past couple of times I have come through here has been after dark so this is this is the first time in the in the light of day that I have been down this stretch of road uh, good God probably since 1997 it has probably been 27 years since I've actually been able to see this stretch of road uh, and as I say I'm, I, I, I'm fairly shocked that there that there are any trees uh, I'm thinking right over this hill here where I-285 and I-75 intersect. I, I, I think it's a whole new city has grown up there is what, I've, what I have been warned. So this is Riverside Drive. So obviously I'm somewhere near the side of the Chattahoochee River. Uh, we used to call this when I was a kid, uh, the name for this stretch of the river, uh, you know, it, it comes out of Lake Lanier about 40 miles north of here. And when it would flow into Atlanta, we, we called this the Palisades, as I recall, this gorgeous stretch of river where these big granite uh, river banks now I know that they pro supposedly protected a very narrow fringe of the river. Uh, so I don't know how many acres they managed to be back in the, probably back in the 1970s, they, uh, I guess it's I don't know Chattahoochee it might even be a national recreation area by now they you know they they managed to uh, protect at least the uh, the actual riverbank itself so you, I, I don't think that uh, today that if you were rafting or canoeing <clears throat> down that section of the river that you're looking at houses so I'm hoping I'm hoping that if uh, I was on a on a canoe right now instead of a pickup truck that it would still look somewhat like it did uh, 50 years ago when I was a uh, when I was a teenager. So I see all of the express lanes are, are still closed. Uh, ever since I got this, all the express lanes on I-75 have been just shut down. Okay, so here is the Chattahoochee River that we are crossing. Still looks pretty beautiful down there. There is the Chattahoochee River. I see people on their big yellow rafts. All right, and this, I guess this traffic jam is pretty much 24 hours a day, seven days a week that, uh, that you have this traffic jam at I-285 and 75 North. Uh, so let's see, yeah, I, I see a, a whole new city ahead of me. So uh, it, that's not the uh, Atlanta skyline right there. Uh, that what we're looking at uh, did not exist here. Uh, I, 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 I don't know when this entire new city was built certainly in in 1983 when I when I left uh, when I got my ass out of this shithole town 
that was all woods right there. That was that was deep forest. There were probably still deer right there in uh, in 1983. And now I see we pretty much have a, an entire new city uh, 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 up here. Good fucking god. Yeah, and, and I see the the cranes building more buildings up here. All right, we are back on I-75, baby. Traffic is flowing. It is a Saturday morning, so we actually have traffic flowing on. I-75 North, unbelievable. All right. Chickamauga, Georgia and Chattanooga, Tennessee. Here I come. We're gonna hang out for two nights in Chickamauga, Georgia. Of course, last year I, I came to hang out here with my, I'm meeting up with my sister at an Airbnb. We're meeting up at the same Airbnb. Of course, last year, that was when I, you know, I came here to spend the weekend with my sister at this Airbnb, and we went for a walk, and she managed to break her ankle, and I ended up being stuck here for almost two weeks. I told my sister, you, we are not going on a walk this weekend. Ain't gonna happen. We're going to be in that gas-sucking truck, baby. Anywho's on the road again. Heading back to New York, baby. Oh my gosh, 